Dynamics GP 2013 includes the ability to consolidate invoicing. Now this only works with the fulfillment order process, but let's take a look at how you do it. So I just entered these four orders right here. And these are four orders to the same client, and they have a number of different items on them. So let's take a look at one of them. Here's one of the orders. And you can see this is a fulfillment order type. I can drill back into that. And this is a standard workflow that I'm using. So I'm going to go through these six steps. I'm printing the picket and ticket, confirming the picking ticket, printing the packing slip, confirming that, and then it's in ship status or to be ship status. And what you have to do in order to use this consolidated invoice functionality, you have to hold there and then jump to a new screen. So let's do that. I'm using this workflow here. Let me just close this up here. Again, this is one of the orders I'm using. I've got four orders right here. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to have this functionality up here in the screen but it's not there what I need to do is then go to my sales area page here and take a look at this function bulk confirmation so what I want to do is I'm looking at items that are ready to ship or they have shipped and what I'm going to do is confirm the ship so again in order to use the consolidating invoice functionality you have to come up to this point to the point where the items have shipped and you have not yet confirmed the ship so let me redisplay these here and you can see that I've got these four items that are at that step in the workflow. You can see the document status here as shipped. So what I want to do is I want to create the combined invoice. I'm going to do that here. I'm going to look up the invoice type and put those into a batch. So this is all I need to do. And what it's going to do is combine the line items from these four invoices and put them onto one. So let's do that right now. And here's the standard report that shows these four items being consolidated into one invoice. And you can see that here. Here's the invoice that was created from the consolidation process. Now let's take a look at that invoice. Go to sales transaction entry. Look up an invoice. And there it is. This is a result of consolidating four, in, four orders invoices into this one invoice and this is a process again that you have to use the fulfillment order process in GP and you have to make sure that you do the consolidation right before you confirm the ship if you do that it's easy to combine these items onto one invoice and this is going to be helpful for a lot of people that have multiple orders that they want to combine onto one invoice to the customer